The Florida State University Board of Trustees agreed to a three-year plan today that would allow the university to meet the reduction set by the state legislature. ABC 27's Marco Villarreal has more from those affected directly. In a long meeting Wednesday morning, President T.K. Weatherwall and the Board of Trustees made decisions to essentially lay off or not renew more than 400 positions at FSU. This community is getting ready to take a hit that I don't think they've even contemplated just yet. It will take years for Tallahassee to come back from this. Of the 25 tenured faculty soon to be laid off, one professor could not understand how he was let go before people he had recommended for hire. It does not help me to understand what efforts FSU's leadership is making towards untrivializing this issue when I get an email explaining that the walls of the College of Education are being painted. Looking to meet more than $87 million cut from the budget, the board studied a three-year financial plan and other fees meant to help FSU stay in business. Question, objection, without objection, it's approved. Other changes include suspensions of several programs and departments. The biggest changes will come to the arts and sciences, a reduction of more than $6 million. This budget will maintain the academic integrity of the institution. We don't see us cutting back enrollment. We actually see us funneling enrollment, for instance, to Panama City. The board also approved a tuition increase of at least 8%. But there is good news, as the College of Engineering and the Strozier Library see no cuts in this new plan. In Tallahassee, Marco Villarreal, ABC 27 HD. The reductions for the university this year alone are more than $47 million. Adding other reductions in the past two years, that total comes out to more than $81 million cut from the university budget. And the budget wasn't.